This conference will now be recorded. So you know that, right? All of you? All of you are aware how to do this? You know the syntax? Uh, how you are going to call the Apex method from JS controller and set the callback function. Then finally enqueue the action. But the order, how it's going to be, how it's going to run is different, isn't it? So Let me open the diagram. Okay, this is what we discussed yesterday. Um, when you call Apex class, you call from uh, JS, right? So on any event, <coughs> the HTML will call the uh, JS controller method like this c dot a method name of the js controller and from the js controller we'll have a uh, a get method with a parameter of you know where you'll specify your apex method prefix with c value provider isn't it so then you will have your callback function what is callback function the what needs to be performed once the server action is done right so the order and then you enqueue the action so what is the order it run you call the apex method and push the method to the queue the call right the call to the queue then once the server action is done the callback function will run that's how you'll uh, call the server method and the method that are enabled that are prefixed with are enabled and static method only can be available for your lightning application or lightning component okay so that's a uh, that's how the method is exposed that's how we are exposing the method to the lightning framework so i hope everyone is clear in this uh, just a revision Right. So how to perform a JS controller method, how to call a JS controller method and perform some logic before you load the component, which means how to initialize, how to do this. So when you, um, when you call any method from, uh, when, when you load the component, when you load the component, what will happen? <coughs> the entire uh, HTML, uh, you know, the content will upload, isn't it? But before any of the content of your component or application is loaded, I'd like to perform some a logic in your controller side. How to do that? Anybody? Yes, what is that uh, tag? Which tag you are going to use? The revision I'm doing now. Which component you will use to uh, perform such action like your uh, visual force in visual force we have a constructor right in visual force we have a constructor 
when you load the visual post page i have a class here when the page is loaded i like to perform something like initialization so where you will keep all those uh, data you will keep inside a constructor right so when the page is loaded the constructor block will execute first isn't it so automatically so something you'd like to initialize then you will keep the uh, the logic inside the constructor block similarly similarly in uh, lightning experience uh, we have in the lightning experience so what you're going to do you're going to have a ARA handler here, isn't it? ARA handler. And uh, the ARA handler tag is going to have two attributes. One is name of the standard function called init. And uh, you will have uh, to refer the current instance, this and action attribute, which is going to refer the name of the js controller method which is going to refer the name of the js controller method so what this uh, aura handler will do so aura handler will call the method whatever you specify here even before any of your component is loaded suppose i have a component here the tag h1 even before this content is rendered even before this content is rendered what will happen the do init method in your uh, js controller will be invoked whatever got me you able to follow this so that we already covered okay so why i'm repeating this you uh, know just a revision and sometimes down the line you know i would use this function frequently got me you able to follow this are you clear so how do you perform something in your uh, uh, js controller before any of the element is loaded right like this visual post page right is the first method you uh, know initial uh, referred in your call in your construct right it's nothing but your constructor in your class when the page is loaded likewise our handler you uh, know we can we can refer in lightning framework everyone is clear here everyone all of you, all of you is clear here. I hope uh, all of you are in the same page. Uh, okay, so I wanted to explain. A component called lightning layout okay a component called lightning layout so what is the use of lightning the lightning layout is used to bring a grid type of layout what do you mean by grid grid you have a you have a container contain the sense no the which is going to hold which is going to hold different other components like uh, you can say uh, it's a page block page block is a container in your uh, visual post page and inside which you are going to have a page block section right and again inside a page block section you can have a page block uh, section item isn't it so this, this is how you will uh, nested the component so this is going to be a container and you are going to have a other component as a a child to this component so that you will be able to bring a kind of a layout where you will have a container and inside which i can have a, a different other component and with the help of that i would form a grid type of layout so how do you call that grid so in the lightning framework in the lightning framework the grid will be responsive which means when you see it in mobile right 
the size you know the size and uh, uh, the the appearance will be adjusted it's going to be a responsive layout right depends upon the uh, device that you are rendering your application uh, the components will be uh, readjusted you know it's nothing but responsive layout so in lightning it's it's uh, going to happen automatically uh, you know as per, as per the lightning framework okay we'll see how to bring this type of grid layout if you see we have a lightning colon layout lightning colon layout so what is this used to bring a responsive grid system for arranging the containers on the page okay if see here i have uh, four fields which are arranged in this order okay i have some space over here right and these are all equally arranged so how to bring this type of uh, uh, layout you see here this is a parent component layout and uh, inside which we have a layout item so each of these is going to be a layout item right i have one block lightning layout and i have four child inside which nothing but layout item you got me so one two three four the four layout items are arranged so let's see how it uh, how we can uh, create in our component And I would say name. Okay, I'm going to repeat. I make it three. Like this. This is how it's uh, arranged because there is no padding or uh, any uh, no styling is applied. No padding or nothing is applied. So it's all arranged uh, next to next. And I'm going to apply the padding here. So what is this? This is going to be this is a, attribute of that component. Layout item has attribute um, called padding. If you go here, the layout item. Layout item is a basic element of layout, right? Can be a child to layout. So if you see a command, and we have 
for a specification and we have a padding so padding is <clears throat> is used to set a padding for the uh, right and left side of the container okay and uh, or all sides of the container so we are going to make a, a padding around all the sides around medium around small so this this attribute which will save you know uh, instead of you write your own css element we go with this padding attribute uh, and with the help of predefined class name css class name which are inbuilt a class name you know uh, uh, inherited from lds design system library you know all of your design system library right Isn't it? So from the design library, uh, you will see the classes you know are inherited for this attribute. But if you see the documentation, you'll come to know what are the available value for this attribute. So when you uh, use uh, around small, then right all the around the uh, element the container. The container is nothing but each of these element you can say as a container, right? So around the container, what padding you like to apply? So I just copy this. I make it around small okay so i just say apply this for every uh, sorry then i refresh So I got some padding over here. Okay. Can you follow this all of you? So how to apply a, a border for this? Apply apply a border for this. So around the around this uh, layout, I would like to apply some border. Uh, I can use any of the uh, inbuilt SLDs, or I can also apply a, a CSS, our own CSS also, right? So class same uh, my box or something. I go to yes dot my box border okay and uh, you can give any solid color uh, I mean defined color or else you can pick any Uh, color from the color picker also. It's going to be alphanumeric value, right? like this and <clears throat> margin I would like to apply and um, this is going to be a top if you apply it there are four margins around the uh, box right every CS element is behave like a box isn't it so how do I, uh, I now apply the uh, the stylings around the margin so how much space you should have uh, from the page between your border that is your margin isn't it so i like to apply a margin uh, like this and zero
fixed price. So if you see no margin on the left and right side, right? No margin on the left and right. So which means uh, this says left and this is your right. And I believe this is your uh, top. Okay, the top portion. And this is your, uh, I believe, right. Um, okay, top, right, and uh, I think bottom, and this left. So no margin for left and uh, right side of the, uh, the content box. They applied only at the top and bottom, right? You able to follow this, all of you? Are you clear? Okay, let's uh, now let's continue with the another example for uh, layout item. Right. Suppose I would like to uh, arrange the uh, components in multiple rows. Okay, I like to arrange the components in multiple rows. If you see here, everything is in one row, but I would like to specify in my layout, say if I specify like a, a size equal to two, then how it should, uh, my component should appear. So every row I should have only two components, two containers, not more than that. And in if I specify size equal to two, then how it's going to be displayed? It's going to display in this format. Two component and again two and uh, uh, you'll have only one component in the third row isn't it so this is nothing but your uh, uh, when I say size is when I say size is two if you don't specify any size then you see like whatever the component you have which are arranged in this uh, you know uh, uh, appearance and when you make it size equal to two, then it's going to be arranged dynamically in this format. So automatically, the last row will have whatever the leftover component. That means if I make a size equal to three, then it's going to be three component in every row, and the leftover is going to be in the next row. Right? In order to arrange this row dynamically in order to arrange this row dynamically your layout component right the layout component of uh, uh, lightning colon layout should have a uh, attribute called multiple rows equal to true so you have to specify this when you specify multiple rows equal to uh, true then in uh, in addition to that in your child component layout item right in the child component layout item you specify uh, you know what is the how much uh, space each of these uh, how much grid each of these element is going to occupy okay L let me take you to the demo and explain this uh, uh, better so i have lightning layout Lightning layer title. Okay, I have some. I see layer data one. Like this. 
and let me apply the padding. Run small. Right, and uh, I say size equal to so maximum grid size, maximum grid size that are defined in the, uh, uh, in the layout by default is going to be 12. It's going to be 12. So when I say here as a 12, and I say here as uh, sizes six and similarly here I say sizes six and here I say size equal to uh, four uh, I say size equal to four <coughs> okay so this is going to be occupied in uh, first row because I I said the maximum number of uh, the grid size you know container that can occupy in one row is going to be 12 the 12 grid can occupy in a row so how many how many grid we have here one two three four five right then seven more i can accommodate so right by default by default but you can also uh, make it any number of grid accommodate uh, by uh, including one more attribute but i i am just giving you a default it can be only 12. so when i say 12 then its layout item is going to be stretched it's going to be stretched across across the row in first row is going to have layout item 11. if i say six then it's going to occupy half of your uh, page size and rest of the size uh, uh, space is going to be occupied this layout item 33. so the first row is going to have layout item 11 and the second row is going to have layout item 22 and 33 and uh, what will happen in the uh, third row the third row is going to occupy uh, out of 12 right uh, close to 30 percent 44 and next 30 percent 55 and next is uh, you will not have any element you able to follow this you will not have any element over here okay let me uh, copy this css also we apply here or else let me first uh, render this let me okay so why it is not uh, rendering it why is why we not able to render because we need to specify here multiple rows right so you got the purpose of multiple rows now so multiple rows must be specified in order to uh, you know uh, arrange all the components uh, you know ar arrange dynamically responsively you arranged in different rows got me if i don't specify the size here if you don't specify the size here let's see here if you don't specify the size You see everything is arranged like this right and now i specify the size and i make multiple rows equal to true isn't it so the first row uh basically yeah i forgot the size here so the entire row must be Spreaded by layout item 11. Okay, and uh, the second is uh, you no know, divided uh, off of the uh, page uh, spread by 22 and next is 33. And uh, the third one is arranged like this. So if you make yourself clear, let me. Put it in a paint uh, brush and explain. So 
So can you say this is a page? This is what we have, right? So when you make it size 12, nothing but the entire page is spread, you know, the size is uh, occupied by this first element. When you give size equal to 12, right? And and since we have uh, given multiple rows equal to true, the next element size 6, which exactly the half of your uh, uh, the page size is spread by this occupy this element 22 and we have left over 33 got me and uh, then 44 so among 12 the 44 uh, basically occupies you know almost 33 percent of your total then i could say 33 percent and next 33 percent uh, the other element and this is left over Right. If you like to place uh, one element here, two element here, then how can I? Uh, no, two element uh, needs to occupy equal space. Then uh, what is what should be my size? So this is my size equal to uh, four, and again the layout item fifty five is a size equal to four. If I like to place two elements occupy equal, uh, you know, size of this leftover space, then how can I uh, give the size here? Anyone? Size equal to two, isn't it? So size equal to two will uh, size equal to two and size equal to two. When we able to follow this, so this how will you arrange your uh, components in the form of grid, the responsive grid, right? How do you make the grid as a responsive? You make a multiple rows equal to true, then automatically the uh, you know the components arrange the order you want. You can even nest it inside layout item, another layout as well. You can nest it, right? A nested block, like a, how do you nest a page block inside the page block section item? And I nested like here, page block section. And inside, you can also nest another page block also, isn't it? It's possible. Maybe you're not. Uh, you know, experience such type of nested uh, 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 blocks, but you can do that. Likewise, here as well, if you need uh, any you know complex different structure you need to bring, you can nested one component inside another component. Got me? <clears throat> Am I clear to all of you? We'll take any uh, practical example. I like to display um, Okay, I like to display something like this. My entire page needs to be spread by uh, a lightning card with a title. And uh, I have some action here. Like I say, cancel, delete. Okay. 
we are not working on the functionality we are working on the uh, appearance layout to understand the layout okay so and uh, i'm going to have some content here say name of the training and uh, uh, now i say like a duration some sort of information say i say lwc and i say 20 days and in the same page i'm going to have and another uh, a lightning card or else a layout item not lightning card just a layout item like a box type of uh, layout and where i'm going to have a display the name of the account and uh, phone number of the account and industry and the rating right and again so i'm going to get the input from the user Going to get the input from the user. So again, I'm saying this is not a functionality. This is just to uh, understand the layout. And next, uh, let make it as a small one. Maybe uh, thirty percent or twenty-five percent out of 12 so this is going to be a, a complete size of your page right so this can be a size equal to 12 so 12 grid must be occupied by this entire uh, the top element and this i would like to occupy only uh, you know the i can say of 30 percent or 40 percent yeah 40 percent of your uh, page and rest say size equal to 88 is going to be occupied by another element so where i would like to get the input for the contact last name first name email phone etc okay so how do you bring this how do you bring this so you decide now what uh, how much space you like to allocate for each of your container how much space you like to allocate for each of your container how do you bring this okay the top one the 12 okay i just remove the thing here Right. I need a three layout item, right? Three layout item. So I read everything. I need a three layout item. And uh, the first layout item is going to have a lightning card. Some title and I'm going to have a action okay and I'm going to make a lightning group button group Okay, and uh, going to have a content. 
uh, name and duration. So I need to have some space here. So how do you expose the space by HTML? Okay, two break line, not right, two break line I added, and then the name of the training. Sorry, it's not break line, it's a space, right? It's a space. This will add the line line break. Okay. So then here, I'm going to apply the uh, box. I just copy this. I go with the just a padding, not the margin. what I'm going to apply here. Uh, I'd say right and uh, account. So how can you refer the get the account record? We need attribute right? Isn't it? Our, uh, What is the type? Count. So how can you initialize the object? And what is the type? Object type and uh, account. I believe this must also be in single quotes. Yep. And for contact. Okay. Where did I give an attributes here? Invalid attribute. Okay. <clears throat> Here. Okay, so here I would say uh, lightning input. Lightning input label. Name 
and how do you get into the attribute? How do you get the value into attribute? Uh, v dot acc dot name name of the field, right? Okay, and similarly, like say last name, and this is for your contact. Everyone is able to follow this. Okay, so now you'll see uh, the first row would uh, spread by this lightning card, isn't it? The first row would uh, spread by this lightning card. And uh, <clears throat> what about the second row? Second row with 50% of the, uh, the the layout would occupy by the this division, this container, and the next rest will occupy this container. But but what I need, I'd like to have in different uh, arrangement, right? So the account layout should occupy just fourth uh, size of fourth portion of your no like a uh, uh, you know less than half close to the half of the uh, grid size the layout size should occupied by the account element and the rest the eighth uh, of the total 12 grid should occupy by the contact element so i just make it as four and i make it as eight and uh, I, I'd say box one and box two so that we can differentiate. I go here, I say box one, repeat one more class, box two. Okay. And I go for a uh, different color. So I like this, isn't it? So why the border is not applied? Why the border is not applied? Any idea? Because it's a nested uh, tag right division is nested okay then you know how to apply the nested uh, uh, css right it should be paste between the this keyword and your class name i hope this will be applied now right you able to follow this so when you apply the css for your top level component so which are considered right? what are top level component every tag is like uh, no outer tags are considered at top level but this division is nested right so what are the nested component you know to where you would like to apply your css 
then your class name should have a space follow this follow this so you see here you know uh, the way i would like to uh, place my component the way i would like to uh, uh, take the space of the the page then i can come then i can uh, organize my component in such a way with the help of layout and layout item so whatever you know uh, the way you like to divide your page suppose i like to have the sidebar component okay some layout or something a layout i like i would like to bring like this let me save this so i like to bring a sidebar component okay and then um, you know have one a top header component and like this and i should i'd like to have a foot okay sidebar and this is your uh, uh, top component okay and the middle and uh, a footer or border com bottom component right so do you think can you make this uh, grid do you think can you make this grid on your own can you try this so when you able to bring this type of grid then you can place the component right suppose i can bring the uh, links links right when i click on a link i like to render the content at the right side when i click on a link I like to bring the content at the right side. You will follow this. Something like this. Right, something like this. So how do you bring this? Anybody? Anybody? Okay, bring this. Would you like to give a try? <coughs> right, unless you uh, go with a nested, you cannot bring this top component, right? So inside a layout, you know, you may have a, a you know, another layout. Uh, layout item inside which another layout so like that you need to nested nested and bring this so give a try give a try and try to bring this and let me know <clears throat> okay One minute, hold on. Okay, so I'd like to <clears throat> discuss about the data table component. So what is data table component? If you go to your, uh, any of the lightning I got list view. So what are you seeing here? A table right a data table it's called as data table so how do you bring the a table you know like you are seeing in your uh, list view such type of table
like this. So how do you bring the top one? You can go with the data card, lightning uh, card, isn't it? Lightning card with the uh, title at the uh, title and icons, isn't it? And we have a group of buttons, button group, and individual buttons like this. So right in such a way, you can bring the lightning card. And lightning card is at the top layout. You know, size equal to 12. And again, the bottom one is again another component. The entire thing is another component. So that's we are going to bring using a component called lightning data table. So what is the component? The component name is lightning data table. And this is going to be your uh, lightning data card. So these two components we can arrange inside your layout item, right? And uh, uh, <clears throat> an equally sized uh, container you can place, you know, in your uh, place like this. Okay. So when you say lightning uh, data table, then we are going to set, uh, you know, what are the columns you are going to display, and what object you are going to uh, handle in this data table what object data you're going to display in the data table okay and what is the key field of the uh, table right so then you decide here whether uh, you'd like to have the checkbox and you decide here uh, whether you'd like to have a action action with respect to every row right this are all action so how do you bring this uh, drop down button how do you bring this drop down button The button menu right button menu so using button menu you can bring this but how do you how do you embed this how do you place this drop down in every row so these are all going to be a property of your component called a data table so data table is going to have such property okay so one important property here is key field you have to specify what is the key field of this data so in our uh, you know in our object is going to be id isn't it in your object is going to be id is a key field then what are the other attributes this data table is going to have it's going to have a column attribute okay so what are the columns you are going to display here so that you have to specify you got me in the lightning component we have attributes key field column okay and many more attributes okay and how you are going to display the data data attribute so which data i would like to display in in this example i'm going to display the account so v dot v dot accounts so account is nothing but a, a list of account not just one account record this is not right this is going to be an attribute this is going to be an attribute but this attribute is not just a, a attribute of a, a one record right it's going to be attribute like a, like this or a colon attribute name equal to what is the name accounts and uh, what is the type the type is equal to array of account array of account you have to populate uh, the list of account from the database if you like to display uh, the record from the database then you get the data from the server side uh, client side controller I know from the apex you uh, get the list of account and populate here so that i can refer that account variable in the data and what about the column the column you need to build in your js controller in your client side controller you need to build this column okay so how we're going to build where suppose right i'm going to build the variable with the uh, array type of uh, no columns you need to specify how many columns i have here in this case name site province uh, i mean state uh, phone type account so i have six different columns right then you know in json the array is uh, start with uh, open I mean uh, square bracket and end by square bracket. 
So here I am going to build in JSON format. First thing, the label, label of the column, right? Label, and I say account name. Okay, this is the label. But what is the field name of field name that is there in the database that you have to specify in the uh, another property called field name? So that you have to specify the exact field name. But how do you like to display that you can have any of uh, any of the name you want? But the field name is going to be a the name that is there in the database. So name. Got me. And what is this type? The type is text. So we are, right there, there are allowed, uh, the types are allowed, the different types are allowed, like uh, uh, other than text, we have a phone type, okay, we have a currency, so that can be seen later. Now we are just dealing with the text type, we'll see the other types later. Okay, so label, so similarly, how many number of labels you are going to uh, have in your data table that needs to be built in the form of uh, an array like this, okay, due to space constrained let me give only a few things here right and site like this okay so it's continue so how many number of columns you are going to then what next you have to do we need to um, set this column right we need to set this uh, column into an attribute because each of these attribute we can only uh, know refer the local variable okay suppose if i the first thing i need to declare the attributes here attribute i say uh, table columns okay and i say table columns and this is going to be array you know array you can also specify in general like a list list set map or applicable here okay list i given as list so i'm going to use this i'm going to refer this here yeah i'm going to populate this once a column is built here in the js controller then i'm going to say Component dot set uh, v dot table column. Okay, and uh, space. What are you going to set? My column. Right. So, what are the column you build here? Right. What are the column you build here? So that column you are going to push to the set to the uh, the table attribute you declare here. Then what are you going to specify here? V dot V dot anyone? What I need to specify here? What I need to specify here? I think you are wrong. So what I have to specify here. So this uh, attribute of table da data table is used to specify what are the columns you are going to display here. Okay. So you know I built the array array type of uh, uh, column parameter here, label, field name, and what is the type. Even you can specify your format also. You know suppose you are handling the currency field, you can specify in what format you know the currency should display, in what format the phone number should. You can specify the format here. There is a, there are more additional properties are available here okay not my column you are going to specify table column isn't it because table column is a variable i you know i uh, used to uh, get all this column i build here in the js control so that's why that's why you declare here right that's the reason you declare here and uh, set it in your controller site so that i can refer it here you want to follow this, all of you? Do you want me to repeat? Everything is clear? 
so everything is clear this is going to be on your uh, uh, client side and uh, this is going to be on your server side okay so this is going to be on the client side this is going to be on server side right who is not clear who is not clear uh, who are not uh, able to understand this i anyway i'm going to repeat this i just would like to know who are able to follow this everyone need to repeat who are able to follow this anyway i'm going to uh, repeat this okay i'm going to repeat this i'm just asking whether it's uh, uh, same for everyone okay to bring the data table to bring the list of to display the list of records right in in we in visual force classic we have um, uh, data table page block table repeat isn't it and data list likewise we have data table in lightning framework okay there is a component lightning data table used to display a list of records and it has three key attribute record attribute key field column data okay key field is used to specify what is the key field of your data so it always going to be id we make it as id because we are dealing with object record right so make it as id and then what data are going to display the account data so we see here attribute accounts type is array of account then we need to get the account from the database that part is not specified here that's we already know how to get the uh, data from uh, object and set in the uh, attribute we know that okay so that variable you are going to specify here v dot accounts and column is nothing but we need to specify here how many what are the columns you are going to display so those columns you are going to build in the form of array here and set that value into the attribute called here you know you have to specify the list of list attribute or array attribute whatever and that attribute i'm going to refer in the column attribute here that's it we follow this am i clear to all of you Hello. Am I clear? Let's have a class first. Select. Okay. Right, and then. I think enough. Uh, I don't limit this, I leave it. Enable. Okay, so this.
Right. Here I would say uh, I, I declare two attributes now. Right. And uh, one is going to be your table columns. Say list. Okay, the another one is going to be your accounts and type is array of account. Okay, so first thing we need to populate this account, right? We need to populate this account. So when the component is loaded, when the component is loaded, I need to populate this uh, variable. How are we are going to do this? When the component is loaded, I like to populate the value into this variable. You know how to do this, right? Ara handler. Standard function in it. Uh, current instance. And then action. So remember, any name you can give, I go with do in it, which is very standard uh, name. You know, for anything that, that that needs to be initialized, you know, we'll go with uh, like this. Okay, our handler doing it. So I believe the function name is uh, get accounts in the FX. Okay, get accounts. And then we are going to set the callback. And which is going to have two parameter. It's going to have a, a argument. Okay. We always check the state. If equal to success. And then we say um, component dot set. So what are we going to set now? Uh, accounts value for the account. And what are we going to set? We know how to get the return value, right? Dot get right. So this one I'm going to see. Okay, so just for the information, if it is failed, then I would say uh, failed in this. Like this, then you have to enqueue the action. In the action. So this, this is your uh, the part you have to do, right? So, um, so whether this work as expected, you can display here and see whether you're able to get the data or not.
Okay. So one thing is missed here, right? What is that? Controller. So what is the controller name? Apex name. Even is good here so far. Okay. And uh, yeah, everything I think is done. So let's review this and uh, go with inspect. So okay uh, yeah yeah i think it should be c dot yeah the miss yet right they're supposed to get a yeah isn't it we get collections of records which is you no know, json formats like an object you know we got it okay so now now we are going to display in this format Right, we like to display the account record in this uh, format, right? With the uh, lightning look and feel, lightning standard look and feel. So what I'm going to do, we are discussed uh, in the paint diagram, right? So the first thing, data table, lightning component, data table. Okay, it's going to have a, a parameters like a key field. I said ID, right, and uh, uh, data. We already got the data into the account variable. So V dot accounts. Okay, so you can instead of having in horizontal, you know. Uh, array order like i make it as uh, next line so that you know that's a format standard format you know you'll see the clarity in readability you'll get clarity in readability right how to uh, i mean read the you know refer the program uh, go through the program better uh, uh, way right so that you can work with the program better format better approach v dot table columns okay so these are a mandatory uh, field even i can close here and i don't need this like this and what else you have to build in your uh, we need to build this right in your uh, controller side isn't it we need to build this so build the column Where my column equal to okay, like this, and uh, and inside which we are going to have a parameters like this label account name. Okay, account name, comma, field name, actual name of your object field, like this. And comma separated, you have to repeat this for how many number of columns you'd like to display here. So phone industry rating, just, okay, four columns. So you say, Phone. Industry. Rating. Okay. 
and remove this comma. Then what next you have to do? You have to set this, right? Set this into uh, a table, I mean, attribute of attribute, nothing, table column attribute. So V dot, and what are you going to set? My column. So this is your call of X. And this is your callback function. Okay, and this is the FX call to the server queue, right? Okay. So I hope it's done. So let's see. Isn't it? So it works perfectly, right? So we got a, a standard look feel. Like when you keep the cursor, it's you know that row is highlighted with a gray background isn't it so we can able to bring the similar uh, yeah here okay you follow this all of you, you follow this everything is clear here id is a key data of your object id is a key field of your object so that's the index field id field you have to specify that that's it all right so any question over here any question over here we'll see You can't interpret uh, something like uh, directly you don't assign it it's how the attributes are defined okay it's how the attributes are defined so it's not like you set for every attribute okay you, the key field you can directly give some hard-coded value if you see your key field key field is required so what is the uh, field that are associated with uh, uh, each row it's going to be unique id like id you just give the ID over here. I believe that it work when you go with different other value as well. Suppose I say here, right? Let's see. Um, refresh. I only tried this, but I mean, never tried it like this, but isn't it? So that is not our object field, just a, you say like it. It's a, uh, you know, you say specify some uh, for each row, I that specific key uh, value here. Okay, that may be used in different uh, uh, scenarios, but let me go through the basic use case as of now. Okay, uh, we sometimes, some places, we refer this value. So, that type of scenario, uh, let's see if I'm able to. You know get that scenario i will explain okay you have to specify idea that's it so um this is just a very basic table right it's just a very basic table so how to bring other properties uh, you know like to bring the action here and i do not want the checkbox right <clears throat> and i like to bring an inline inline edit here so those required uh, you know other attributes you should uh, also other properties also you should include here so this is a basic uh, data table okay and i say i just even copy this and 
I put it here. I like to bring a drop down row action. So there is an attribute called on row action. There is an attribute called on row action. So here you are going to specify um, uh, what are the row action you like to specify here. Okay. Right. I believe we already been tired following up too much content today. Shall we continue tomorrow? So tomorrow we have the uh, same time. You know, try uh, connect. We'll we'll complete this data table. I think if I extend this, maybe. Uh, too much stuff for you to do. Is it? You want me to continue? I can continue. We'll connect tomorrow, right? Okay. I just upload this in the Notepad and uh, uh, I mean post it for now. Make it in Notepad and uh, post it in upload in the drive. Okay. Right. Take care. See you tomorrow. Bye.